Welcome back, because it's been a while. Welcome back to our very hot, very humid, and very lush Aussie homestead here in up the coast in uh, central Queensland. Um, I went away for December. I went back to Canada to visit with my family, my friends, while Ross stayed here and took care of our chickens, our dragons, the bees, the dog. Now I'm back and we're back. And with that, more videos. <laughs> there you go. So in this video, we have a garage, which is super exciting. So in this video, we are putting it all together. And this ends up being a two part video so that you get to see the walls being made. And then the next one will be the roof going on, the siding, or no, the roof going on, the guttering. I know what I'm talking about, come on now. I just make them. Anyway, <laughs> so anyway, the next two videos will be the garage going up, which totally amazing to have means that we've got our three water tanks hooked up to the garage so because it has done a lot of raining in December and even beginning of January we've managed a lot of water that's for sure and soon 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 the solar setup will be all done and that video will go up so um, fingers crossed in the next two weeks what is it it is here the 23rd of January so yeah I mean it depends on when the electrician can get out but hopefully in the next two weeks the solar system will be totally ready to use hooked up to the house and all the rest of it and that'll be a fantastically wonderful day so yeah stay tuned for that video when we get all the solar hooked up and the house hooked up to it and whatnot but in the meantime a couple of videos where you see how our Meccano garage got put together and the good time that we had doing that together. So, see you at the end. Our garage pieces were finally delivered. It was delayed a couple of times due to the roller doors not arriving at their facility on time. And then Meccano themselves apparently had a difficult time actually doing their scheduling of delivery routes each day because they changed our delivery date a couple of times. Then they called us on a Thursday to tell us that they had scheduled things improperly the next week and instead of delivering on the Tuesday it needed to be Monday. Well, we had our own schedules already sorted, we have a life, and they had no apologies and weren't quite put out by the fact that we found this unprofessional and a bit of a pain in the rear, really. So that was problem number one with Meccano. Then when we were trying to put all of these panels together, the bracing caused us problems. So 10 out of 12 of these panels have bracing, and of these 10, seven of them had bracing that didn't even match up with what their plans said that they should have looked like. So that was a bit of a thing. Then there were the three panels where the braces didn't match the holes that had been pre-drilled, so we had to put the panels together. Then Ross had to make sure that they were perfectly square before making new holes to accommodate the braces that apparently were supposed to be going in there. So yeah, that was fun. Then, when the certifier came in to check the finished garage, she noticed that the bracing was not the same in some of these panels as what the Meccano engineers had signed off as being structurally sound in their plans. So she had requested of us that we either take down a lot of our work, so like the siding, part of the roof, and make our walls look like what the Meccano specs had in them, or have Meccano redraw their plans and have an engineer sign off on the new drawings and send those to her so that she could certify the garage. Well, Meccano decided when we called them to let them know that, you know, things weren't right, they decided that we must be wrong and that we were using old plans or we just simply put it all together wrong. 
So we had to send them pictures of what we put together. We had to send them the, the planes that they'd sent us, which came with the pieces. So, I mean, it wasn't wrong. And they eventually did redraw their plans, get the engineers to sign off on it, and happily, the whole garage ended up certified and is now amazingly wind and watertight. It's an absolutely lovely garage. We're just not sure that we'd ever actually work with the Meccano company again. So there you go, our, our review on the Meccano company. Great product, customer service is slightly lacking. Another sunsets here on the homestead. We've had a busy day today. We've put together two, four, six wall panels for this shed, plus a gimpy seven one because we're not sure about these braces. We might need to call them and ask them to send us ones that fit. So, I mean, seven. And then we've got two more big walls over here. And then we've got three walls that just do these three doors, the three roller doors. That is above the roller doors. Yeah, we did well today. Good work. Yeah. So let's go shed. We'll get this done and let's go team shed. Get team shed. Get those water tanks actually filling up with water off the roof, which we'll eventually get. Get some solar in there. Ah, I can't wait. Night night, son.
How long have we been working at this this morning? Uh, a couple hours. Huh? Okay. Two hours. It was like after 9. Yeah. Now yeah, okay. It's a couple hours. Got all the big walls up. Now we're just working on the big beams so we can put the three headers up. It's just so nice to see it going up. It's awesome. Truly, we've worked on this shed for th three days. Ross and I did about five hours of work one day, and then he and his son did about an hour and a half, two hours another day, so we're making that be one day. And then we worked on it yesterday. So this is day three. Today, Ross would like to get up the strapping and the battens. And then we're going to work on putting up the wall sheeting. So by tonight, the roof should be ready for the roof sheeting. And the walls should be, yeah, let's go with half done. We're going to go with the walls will be half done. Half sheeted? Probably, yeah. yeah. All right. That's the goal for today. How's the right-hand man doing? Is he helping? Are you chewing lots of sticks for me? I need lots of sticks chewed. Eat them all. Beautiful. You have your job for today, Cappy. You've got your job. All the sticks in the mulch. Perfect. Mulch I can deal with. And I'm like sticks. <laughs> and I'm.
let's see here. This would be day four of working on the shed. I mean, Ross has done bits and pieces here and there in the evening to make sure that all the strapping is done and tightened and that's all ready. Um, but today we're working on putting up the walls so that this weekend the roof can go on. So here we go. Halfway down the back anyway. One more sheet halfway. Yay! of the day and this is where we were forced to stop because the tool that we're using its battery died so we'll charge it overnight and finish up that front wall tomorrow and then this weekend the roof will also get put on I'd say that we had a very productive day here
day five and I do believe we've done everything that needs to be done before we put on a roof. We finished up this front part today. Looking good. And then we've, Ross is just finishing putting on those corner pieces to make the corners look nice. Are we all done and can put on a roof now? Yep. It's looking so nice, especially with the sun going down behind it.